We, um, you know, we're a school that's growing. Uh, we're a school, obviously, that has an increasing student population. So if we had more classrooms, that would certainly alleviate the overcrowding we have in some of our classrooms. So our building, uh, our capacity is to 1,200 students. We're currently at 1,350 students. Um, so we're obviously 150 over capacity. You know, we're close to, um, you know, 15 to 20 percent uh, over capacity. We have students and parents come in you know, almost daily, weekly, you know, saying they're just moving into a new home. They had a new home built, so you know that population is growing, and so we anticipate our numbers that keep growing up, um, going beyond 1,350 up to 1,400. Um, so it's definitely uh, population growth is is, is a large uh, factor in Porter Ridge. You know, we have 21 mobile units. Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, you know, sometimes when uh, teachers are in the mobile units, the access to the internet is not as efficient as it is in the building. So that affects uh, what activities, what software teachers might be using. You know, again, going outside the weather sometimes, you know, it, it is problematic. So you can having someone in the having everyone in the building avoid students, it lets them use the internet efficiently. It allows them to not go outside to when it could be poor weather, it could be raining, you know, so that can um, certainly have an impact. Um, you know, the environment inside a mobile is just not the same as it is in a classroom. Um, the space is not the same. Um, the number of students is not the same. The configurations, how teachers can manipulate their classroom is, is not nearly the same. Their space for technology is not the same. Their space for um, you know, everything around the room is just a little bit different. So uh, to understand, we're going to get 15 additional um, classrooms. Uh, which would be basically a wing. We currently have three wings at Porter Ridge. Um, so that's what I mentioned earlier. If we get another wing to the building, added on, that we, we would you know, increase our um, space by 33%. Um, so again, that allows us to move students, distribute them out to, to make the hallways easier to pass, um, to, get to, get, to get to class on time, to Walking in a crowded hallway is tough. It takes time to stop the lockers, but with having this new this new wing will allow us again to get students to class much much faster. I think um, you know if you look at the history of Union County, there's been so much growth in, in the district. You know, also in our area, but also across the district. I think that there's there have been other bonds that have supported schools and getting you know, build new schools and built additions and done renovations. So I think. I think what I hope people remember is that, you know, where you live in Union County uh, might be different than, than somebody else, but schools are always need support, they always need um, facilities growth and improvement, and uh, areas are growing, so I think the bond impacts all people in Union County.